Hey, it's Ed, and welcome to a special edition of Ed Talks, because I have an amazing guest with me today, Tia Newcomer and Chris Ross. Tia, welcome to Ed Talks. Thank you so much, Ed. Very happy to be here. Hey, Chris, you've been here once or twice before. Welcome back. Nice to be here again. Yeah. And our topic today is really about CaringBridge. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's an amazing, I call it a ministry because I think it just helps people in the greatest times of need. And Tia, can you tell us, for those who might not know, just a little bit about Caring Bridge, and then we're going to hop into this exciting event that's going to happen on September 5th. Absolutely, Ed. So Caring Bridge is a no-cost, nonprofit health platform, and we surround family caregivers, and importantly, their loved ones are going through a health journey with support. And that support comes in two ways, both functional and emotional support. And we do that by activating the community that is already there waiting, wondering how they can help. And we offer both the caregiver and the patient tools to share and document that health journey. And that really helps our community activate and give them tools for care coordination, meet them where they have the most needs. And we connect that supportive community just to lift them up and surround them with support. That's super. Chris, what's your involvement with Caring Bridge. So Ed, I'm fortunate enough to serve on the board of Caring Bridge, and it's been really great to see the organization grow and evolve and, and try some new things. You know, I've been a Caring Bridge uh, user myself. Um, I was uh, uh, a cancer patient, which is something that we're talking about in our book. But Ed, and uh, the second time I went through cancer, I used Caring Bridge as a way to just communicate with my uh, close circle. I say I remember that, and it's such an effective tool to sort of not be too intrusive for a support person, of someone who's going through a health crisis, uh, but stay in the know so you can help out in any way that was requested. Sounds cool. Yeah, you know, there's different ways that people approach things, as you know, and we've we've written about it in our book this high out. We're going to feature our book at this fundraiser event, and we're privileged to do that. You know, some of us are really boisterous and have a great big uh, uh, community of supporters, and some of us are more private, a little bit more like me. And I found Caring Bridge to be a, a fantastic way to help me get through this journey. And, you know, Ed, the, the, as we write about, you know, from our experiences, the two main ingredients for a really great patient experience going through an unfortunate health event is, you know, number one, kind of owning your own journey. And the second is surround yourself with a village of uh, supporters. And there is no better village creator uh, for people going through healthcare uh, journeys than Caring Bridge. That's awesome. Uh, Tia, for those who want to sponsor, so I know it's, again, it's September 5th in Minneapolis at the Hutton House. And is it morning, evening? I'm not sure. It's morning. We will start at 7.30 a.m. We'll hopefully get you out of there by 9 a.m. That's our commitment because we all know we have jobs to go to. But 7.30 to 9, breakfast with friends. There's going to be a lot of people in the health care community uh, that are there to support. And I love what Chris said. I want to just highlight CaringBridge meeting you in those in-between moments that healthcare doesn't see or can meet you at. And that's where CaringBridge is so powerful. And so that room is going to be full of people that have either directly experienced that benefit of that community and meeting them where they're at, or people that are very passionate about what more we can do to expand that reach for the caregivers and the patients that need it. And so we're looking for sponsorships that we have, and we'll put all this information, I think, in the show notes. But we're looking for sponsors like of tables. Like, how do you become a sponsor? What does it mean? Yes, sponsor. So we start at a five thousand dollar level and then go up from there. There's many benefits to being a sponsor, including inviting your closest colleagues or friends to a table. So there's table sponsorships, and then of course we're going to highlight you throughout the event, both in the pre, during, and post from a promotional perspective. Uh, you'll put those in the show notes. There's different packages, but it's definitely a great way to. Show your support for a nonprofit that's been there for over 27 years. I always like to tell people our founder went down to her basement and coded the first communication platform for good. Mark Zuckerberg was 13. I just want to highlight that. Social media was not invented. And here she was creating this beautiful thing that still exists that is ad-free 
no cost and continues to connect people in a way that is uh, different than other platforms. Yeah, like I shared, I, I think everyone's been touched by CaringBridge, have had friends and family uh, use it, like Chris's example, and uh, it's just a, a fabulous thing. So whatever we can do to help support you and CaringBridge, uh, we're all in, and that's why we created this video. So if your heart is touched and you have the ability to be a sponsor of a table, uh, we would love to have you and see you on September 5th, Minneapolis, 7.30. Get you out by nine and get to hang out with Tia, Chris, and many other fabulous people. Yeah. <laughs> Including it. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, th thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in Minneapolis.